A reading from the book of Todd the Spicy. And Todd looked out onto his followers and said unto them, Hey guys, who's up for some laser tag? I think there's a place a few miles away. And his followers joined him in laser tag and there was much merriment. Later, there was pizza. Here endeth the reading. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Honey. I joined a cult, the Church of Todd the Spicy, suffering some trials. Suffering some trials. There is discontent amongst our followers. They are getting slightly bored with the yoga and the ghost thing over and over again, which is 100% not a scam. I want to be very clear about this. This projector is not creating some sort of illusion of a ghost. It is merely illuminating the ghost that is already there. It is allowing the invisible to become visible, not a scam. Now, what we did get going to boost everyone's mood up a little bit is the electroshock therapy room. I'm sorry, the energy spa. The energy spa. We're just a little shy on money to put it all together. We've got the capacitor. We have one bed. I think we've got just enough to do energy control right over here, which is obviously the spa part of the whole experience here. This is where they're going to monitor your health and your vitals and not in any way deliver you catastrophic electric shocks until you worship the majesty that is Todd the Spicy. And a little energy ball could live right over here. Okay, that is ready to go. What we don't really have are enough people to man this. Now, I see Chris is going over. Chris, you are you are our first convert, Christopher Fonzarelli, and you are such a valuable addition to the Church of Todd the Spicy. You have leapt in with both feet, and now you are monitoring this person's conversion, I think. Adam DeFazio, your, your conversion to the Church of Todd the Spicy at $11 a pop for every volt. Now, last time out, we had a follower leave the Church of Todd the Spicy. They were discontented. They did not have enough therapy rooms. They were not enjoying their time here in the Church of Todd the Spicy. To which I say unto you, the Church of Todd the Spicy takes hard work. We are not layabouts. We are not lazy. We take our devotion to Todd very, very seriously, and we work hard all day for the glory, the majesty, and the tax-exempt status of Todd the Spicy. I can only assume that the discontented gentleman went down the street to the cake cult. And again, it is a cult. They are not a tax-exempt recognized church. I am here now, at the beginning of this video, to get something straight. I am going to blow the lid off the Covenant of Cake. News that has only just come to light through the dedicated workings of our PR folks here in the Church of Todd the Spicy. We have uncovered groundbreaking and shattering news about the Covenant of Cake. They are merely a front. They are a front. They are tools of the big flour companies to sell people more baking goods. This is shocking, I know. I know the folks in the cake cult are generally good people. And they are devoted in their worship of cake, which, again, is very, very yummy, but no basis for spiritual foundation. However, it has been revealed to us merely a front. Behind the covenant of cake are many men in very, very nice suits, laughing all the way to the bank as all of that flour is snapped off the shelves by the cakeists. Now, in more delightful news, Elizabeth Klingon, our newest convert, you've got a bit of a level up. Now, you are into maintenance and cooking right now. That's Those are your primary jobs right now. So let's put something into butchery so you can keep doing that, and something into, I believe, planning. Yes, that will increase your patrol speed there. Let me just make sure that you're actually on that. Yes, you're going to do cooking and maintenance technician, and you're going to do nothing else around here. Do we by the way, do we need to order some more food? I mean, it won't hurt. We've got a bit of money that's come in. Let's get... Well, I wouldn't mind getting some burger ingredients. That would be nice for our folks here. But let's get just, unfortunately, some gruel. I'm going to get a bunch of this in. Let's get, say, $100 worth of gruel ingredients. I'm really sorry, guys. We're working on some better stuff here. Buy those ingredients and prepare that, please. So, yes. Again, I'm not... Not 100% if this is on or off. I would assume that pressing that, see, that looks on. But then I, I want to press play 
Uh, we'll see. If somebody's making gruel, then we're on the right track here. And that was actually a very, very good day financially in the Church of Todd the Spicy here. Our devoted followers, very happy to support us here in the church. Let's get another energy bed. I believe we can have three of these in the spa, which is totally 100% not an electroshock therapy room. And why don't we make it you know what, let's just make it a little bit prettier around here. That's what I'd like to do today. I'd like to make everything just a little bit better for the Church of Todd the Spicy. Now, while we were doing our investigative journalism on the cult of the cake over there, whatever it is they call themselves, it's a very silly name, I noticed the gaudiness of their rugs. I just shocking colors. I don't know who is decorating that place, but it's absolutely shocking. I think we can do a little better here in the Church of Todd the Spicy. Something just very nice, like a red. A red. They've got these gaudy blues and yellows. I, I don't know who is in charge of that. I mean, I know who's in charge of it. They're just a tool of big flower. But the decorator, who needs some work over there. And Todd's just wrapping up his evening sermon, which just... It's so soothing to end the day with the words of Todd. It really is an okay sermon. We are very tired around the Church of Todd the Spicy. We're very, very tired. We see right now we're feeling like out-of-date bread. We are. We are. We have, we have worked tirelessly to get this church up and running and open it to the public. And with the money we've got left, I think we need to start rewarding some people. Now, we gave Kearns of Todd over here, one of our most favored, a nice bed. Let's try and keep that running here. So let's get in this room. Let's go ahead and delete this bed. Oh, sorry, you, you, you're just going to bed. I won't delete your bed right... You know what, we'll do it tomorrow. How about we got a nicer shower or sink or something? That might be good. And I've got two maintenance folks. I'd like one of you to be working at night. Elizabeth. I'm going to really, really mess with you, and I'm very sorry, but the Church of Todd the Spicy is a 24-hour organization. We can't all be napping at the same time. Oh, and conveniently, I can just pull this down. I don't need to click every one of these, so rather RimWorld style there, and then I can just pull what I want down and then fidget with it from there. Okay, so I actually don't want you sleeping at midnight. I would like you working at midnight. Let's have you working uh, like there and... I know, this is very sad for you. There. You can have free time there. You can sleep in the middle of the day. You can get up. Uh, how much sleep am I giving you? Uh, that's probably enough. Get up there and do some free time here. So let's see, that's six... That's eight hours sleep. That's far more than you need when you're satiated by the word of Todd. And then one more free time but also some work time in here please and just what i wanted to see she went right over and fixed that sink now that she's working at night good if you wanted to cook some food that'd be okay too do you want to are, are you kind of heading in that direction or are you just cleaning the kitchen elizabeth i mean i'm cool either way i appreciate your service i just i'm still a little fuzzy on pause versus play on gruel. I'm going to put it the other way and see what happens. Actually, while Elizabeth is out working, why don't we change her bed out? So let's delete that and instead put in the basic bed. Oh, you are going to be so happy. You're going to be exhausted, but you're going to be so happy when you get home. Uh, let's do... I don't have enough for a storage locker, unfortunately. Do I have enough for just like a small decoration? Anything at all. I can do a light fitting... No, we're gonna kind of have to wait till tomorrow. Now, the morning starts bright and early. Everyone ex is up, except for Elizabeth, who should probably be going to bed soon. Sink is down. That's okay. We'll cope with that. Uh, you look like you're having a bit of a bad day, Anna. Okay. What are, you, what are you off to do right now? Oh, you're doing some maintenance. Okay, that's cool. I mean, take time out for yourself. It is all about Todd, but... Todd also respects the fact that you got to catch a few winks every now and then. Not a lot, if we're honest, but, you know, every now and then. I was going to get some research done, because we are not researching anything. So we got the better bedroom upgrade. What would it take to get the next one? What's room boost? Allows the leader to boost the skills of anyone entering a room. Wow. 130 influence to do it, though. That ain't nothing. Acquisition missions. I don't know what this does, but I want it. Speaking of missions, we could be going out. We got a PR campaign we could be doing. Now, what 
how many two two fractions of Todd are going to have to do this. That's fine. Looks like Claire could go. I could take a break from that research. That's okay. We could get that done. M of Todd. Yes, yeah, you're in the lobby, though. Send Kearns of Todd. I want to have one of our most favored out on this. Now, that's still, ooh, that's still a 0% chance, though. Is it M? It is M. It's got to be M. Okay. Yeah, it's the only one with the skills. All right, M, you're going to have to take a break from the lobby. I want to get this PR thing done. And then, when we get a little bit more money coming in, more upgrades. Yeah, this is going to slow down the money today, though, because there's nobody in reception. Um, are you... You're Elizabeth. Okay, you can't do reception, because I told you you can't. However, Maxwell could. Maxwell could get down there. When you take a shower, Maxwell, let me know. And also let me know if I have food preparation on pause or play, because I'm just, just not sure. Okay, so I tried right-clicking on the stove, production, pause. So I would assume whichever I've done, I should do the other one. All right, now, where, where did you just go? Wow, you just bolted out of here. Holy moly, where did you go? Oh, you went in here to take a shower. Okay, Chris, uh, can you, because I actually put some skill into cooking with you, when you're done with the whole showering thing, can you get into the oven? Overriding scheduled. Yeah, if you could uh, if you could go do some cooking, that would be great. I really do need to get someone down in the lobby, though. Maxwell, you're generally okay with things. You're going to do... Uh, you're going to go do the ghost whispering thing, though. We got four people in there. That is pretty good. Um, Elizabeth, you're having a bit of a freak out? What's your deal right now? Looks like you're having a bit of a freak out. Seeing that red angry thing pop up there. Are you not embraced in the love and the wisdom and the tax exempt status of Todd the Spicy? Because Todd believes in you if you don't believe in Todd. Oh, you're a little bit sleep deprived. Okay, yeah, I did kind of totally mess with your schedule. I really did. Well, you'll take a nap at some point and you'll get over it. Todd's over here just checking out Todd's room. Todd loves Todd's room. It's got a picture of a rocket ship in it. Todd is always looking to the stars, always looking to the future. Maxwell's got some things going on down here, though. Maxwell's working the crowd. I like what you're doing there. Uh, who could do literally anything at all? You are over here cooking. Okay, good. Oh, sorry, Maxwell. You're up here eating. I thought that was you down there. Can you get in the lobby? Could you actually go do the lobby for me? You're already assigned. Okay, great. Good. You're already heading down there. Perfect. I just want to catch any of those folks down there and empty their wallets. I mean, embrace them into the light and the love and the tax exempt status of Todd the Spicy. Again, let's keep those upgrades going. Let's go ahead and delete that bed and get a better bed in here. A basic bed, please. Go right there. And then I wonder if there's any value to having the storage locker and the storage box because they're both going to produce prestige. It's not much, but it's prestige of one. If I put a storage locker in here, that's obviously going to boost up your prestige. And then you don't lose the prestige from the storage box. That seems sensible. I might even have a little bit more to give you some decoration in here. How about anything at all? What's got decent prestige? I mean, they're all around three. That seems to be about the best we're going to get. Why don't you have a mirror so you can reflect on Todd? Yeah, we got to get M back super, super quick. We need the lobby staff. You know what I need? I know what I need. I need another, I need another convert. I need another fraction of Todd. It means I need another bedroom. I could pop something out here. How much to do just a basic foundation, sort of like this? Okay, that's not much money. I can cope with that and actually get this bit like this too. I'll just take the wall down. It'll be fine. Everything's going to be 100% fine here. Yeah, I can definitely get a bedroom in here. How much? I don't know if I can afford to kit it out, but let's get a basic bed like this can just do the storage box. You know what? I'll wait like three. There we go. Got the locker right there. Locker right there. Okay. Let's look at who is ready to be converted here. I mean, basically all of them. They've been here for ages. Actually, Sonny, you're not ready to be converted yet. That's okay. Simon. Yet, yeah, How bored are you, Simon? Because um, you're, yeah, you're actually not that bored yet. I want someone who's ready to bolt. Who's like, I have seen all the things in the Church of Todd the Spicy. I've done the yoga. I've heard the sermons. I've had electroshock therapy. I mean, I've been to the energy spa. I've looked at ghosts who are totally real and not a scam. That's the guy I'm looking for. Somebody who's pretty bored. You're fairly bored. I don't want any of you guys. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Alia. Alia. 
you are basically almost kind of done. I mean, you haven't had a trip to the energy spa yet. It's shockingly good. You see what I did there, Alia? Todd is not without a sense of humor. However, you're pretty bored with everything else. I think we should embrace you into the arms of Todd the Spicy. And sorry, Alia, we meant that in a totally non-creepy way, by the way. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not, um, we're not, it's not like a physical embrace. It's a spiritual embrace. Welcome. Uh, let me get you a bedroom. So you can have this bed right here. There's not much in there right now. I can get you, I can get you something. I can get you something in here. How about we just had, I don't know, anything at all. Oh, we got that backgammon board, right. Yeah, we did, and a board game. The board game is pretty inexpensive. Let's get that in there. It's getting a little crowded in the rec room, but people do get bored around here. They get a little bit sad. Toiling all day for Todd is no small thing, so I want to give them as much entertainment as we can. I am going to get you, Alia, anything I can, really. How about... You know what? Let's go a little, a little nuts on this. Why don't you have a coffee table? Okay, um, somebody had an accident. Um, I guess... I guess somebody couldn't quite get to the... Get to the toilet on time. They were very close. They almost made it. They all a fraction of Todd is close to leaving. Who? Who would reject the holy words of Todd? Maxwell? Maxwell, what is your problem, man? Are you the one who had a bit of an accident? I bet I bet you have a bit of an accident, didn't you? You're tired, you're hungry, and yeah, you um yeah, you had a bit of a you, you almost made it, Maxwell. You almost made it. Um why don't we Maxwell, where are you right now? Can I actually just click on you and get to you? If I do that. Actually, that'll do the job just as well. That's all I wanted to see there, Maxwell. How about calling him pause it before Maxwell has a complete freak out? How about just for now, just for now, you were on free time. Okay? Just free time. You go do whatever you feel. I put you to a lot of work, Maxwell. You're not wrong. I had you all over the place. Um, yeah, and... Wow, what a trooper Maxwell is, that he soiled himself rather than interrupt the holy work of Todd. We're gonna, we're gonna treat you to something, Maxwell. I don't know what. Yeah, you enjoy that shower, Maxwell. I, I bet you need it right about now. Um, everything's broken. Yeah, see, here's the problem. Everything's broken around here. Where's Alia? Where's our newest recruit? Guess what? You're gonna be on maintenance duty largely. Uh, are you? I don't know. Yeah, Maxwell, you just do what you feel, man. Just do what you feel. It's okay. So, Alia, you don't have any skills at all right now. You came in pretty terrible. You hate cards, and you're a procrastinator. Oh, you're gonna gain XP more slowly. So you don't really do much of anything. Why don't you be on maintenance and receptionist? You have no skills, so it doesn't really matter what you're doing. And also be a recharger. Okay, those are your top priorities. You get a chance to do any one of those three, you go ahead and do it. Oh, Maxwell, Maxwell, Maxwell. It's getting real tough, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, you're just kind of wandering around. You've got the saddest little face on. I feel for you, man. It's tough work. It's tough work. This is a hard life, but it's a spiritually rewarding life. And I might add, Maxwell, it's a tax-exempt life. Let's finish out that mission, too. Let's get that done. PR rating increase, and we've got a barrel. Okay. Why? Did you guys just steal a barrel? If so, very cool of you. Very cool. Guys, you got to get home. We really need all the bodies we can get around here. Where do I go to receive my barrel? All right, our nighttime technician here. Going around, getting everything done. And you just scored a level up with that too. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Planning would be a good one. Is there anything else that does anything with maintenance? Improvisation would, but it's still just the patrol speed. So let's keep going into planning and butchery. Those are That's what you do around here. You cook and you fix things. Maxwell, you feeling better, man? Now that you've had a bit of a nap, are you feeling okay? Yeah, your mood is going up. Your mood's definitely going up there. Okay, you had some terrible food. You're very tired. Well, that's going to fix itself right now, isn't it? Awful room. Would it help if I put in like a really nice red rug that wasn't eye-bleedingly blue and yellow? Let's try that. I think this one just screams Maxwell right there. That's nice. What's the prestige on this room? It's only 12. 
Could I, I get, I know I can't get anything else. I know I can get the light thing for a hundred. Everything else is 300. Okay, Maxwell, we're going to keep poking away at your room there. Also, our heat is getting a little bit high. I mean, 32 out of a thousand is nothing, but still people are keeping an eye on the Church of Todd the Spicy. It's probably the big flower people. They've heard about our breakthrough shattering story about the front that is the cake cult, the Covenant of Cake, if indeed that is what it's called, knowing that it is just a massive front for Big Flower so that you can sell more baking goods. I bet we're being watched by them. I bet, I bet we look across the street, this van down here, it's probably full of people in really nice suits that are also covered in flour. Oh, there's a welcome sight, M of Todd, back at the reception desk. Whew, it was real grim without you here yesterday. Those missions, love doing them, but boy, that takes some very key members of the Church of Todd the Spicy out of action for a while. Are we back on research too? Yeah, Claire's back up doing research. Okay, and you, Alia, you have taken it upon yourself to shock people, like a lot. Okay, bold move. Was kind of hoping for some maintenance, but no, 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 I, I said you could do that. It's just interesting you walked in the door, looked at the electroshock therapy room. I'm sorry, the energy spa and said, boy, I'd really enjoy shoving a few thousand volts through somebody's body. Okay, I'm going to worry about you a lot, Alia. Now, right, let's keep those upgrades going. How about another nice shower in here? Let's get that out of there and let's put in a real shower. Maybe even another... Well, you know what? Let's just deal with what we've got first. Delete that old sink and put in a real sink. And then we'll start adding more to all of this. I tell you, at the end of the day, when you're running a church, it's not the wisdom, the love, the hope, or the tax-exempt status. It's the maintenance. Everything just keeps breaking down all the time. It's a, it's a bit of a chore, honestly, to have all of my folks on maintenance duty. Uh, well, oh, Maxwell, are you having another bad day? You're exhausted. Okay, you're on, like, literal free time, man. I don't know how to help you with that. Go to bed if you're that tired. You can do anything you want. That's what free time is, man. P.S. You can't be on free time all the time, dude. That's not okay. What's going on with you, dude? I, I need to talk to you, Maxwell. All right, you're sleepy. Yep, you hate chess boards. Hey, I don't know how to help you with that, man. Don't go near one. We don't actually own one, so you're going to be totally fine here. And you're very poor. Your quality is very poor. I know you're probably very poor because you've given all of your money to the Church of Todd the Spicy, but you yourself as a human being are very poor. Maxwell, you know what? Don't make me kick you out of the Church of Todd the Spicy. Don't make me name you untaught and shun you. Yeah, I got to get Maxwell working again. I'm going to try and keep it a little bit lighter. I'm going to give him plenty of free time. But somebody's got to be doing things around here, Maxwell. You can't just be loafing off all the time. That's not going to fly. Yeah, no chessboards in there. Don't worry, Maxwell. There's zero chessboards. There's there's dominoes. I don't know if that sets you off. I don't know if that's like a trigger for you. But no chess. All right. Thankfully, the maintenance is getting done. Everything's getting back up and running here. Who? A uh, fraction of Todd was injured. What? Do you have? Yeah, you got dirty hands. Okay. Minus one penalty to all skills. Uh, we can broadly cope with that. Did you finish the research, though? Yes, you did. Acquisition missions. What to, okay, I'll look at that in a sec. I want to queue up some more research, though. What else could we do? We could get more fractions of Todd. That is not the worst idea at all. We just need more things getting done. Or we could do comfier pews or extra faith from our sermons. Those are all good. Let's get our Fraction of Todd cap up. Be two more people we could embrace in the light and the love and the truth and the wisdom and, of course, the tax-exempt status of Todd the Spicy. Object acquisition. So we're going to go and get some stuff. Okay, I still haven't pinned down my barrel. Uh, so, I, guess I, I mean, barrel is in here. I'm not denying that. Okay, there's one there and I can... Yeah, it says built available. Available one. Okay, so can I put this down for free game? Because that's what I'm hearing from you. Actually, can I just give this to somebody? Who wants a nicer thing in their thing? Um, Maxwell, I've, I've given you a lot of things, man. I will give you this barrel, though. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is your room. So if I buy this, it's not going to cost me any money, right? No, that totally cost me money. 
I think it's time to spruce the place up a little bit, and I love paving number two. Ain't cheap, but I think we can start to make something work here. Oh, yeah, that's going to look good when the kids get up in the morning. How about this? Yeah, let's just spend all our money on floors. Welcome to the channel. Okay, apparently Maxwell desperately needs the toilet. Get up and go, man. Do you not understand how that works? That you sort of wake up and you use the sanitary facilities. Like everyone else on the planet can do that, man. Except you, apparently. Oh, yeah, in the light of day, that red paving just looks stunning. Absolute, I'm totally blowing all of our money flooring the rest of this park. And while with that initial money is coming in, let's go ahead and spend a little bit of it on some more ingredients for the gruel. Seems to be going through this very, very quickly. I wouldn't mind figuring out if there's some sort of auto order thing, where every time we run out, we order more of it if there's money available. That'd be nice instead of having to go, oh, hey, I think we ran out of food. Let me go order some more of that. I mean, we've always got the vending machines. I get that. I mean, people are not going to starve to death because we've got the vending machines. But I wouldn't mind seeing sort of an auto order. Now, Maxwell, I'm going to try to help you even more. Now, you should be completely satisfied with the light, truth, wisdom, and love and tax-exempt status of Todd the Spicy. But I'm going to give you more material goods as well. I'm going to deal with your bed issue. Uh, so let's go ahead and delete that and then put in the nice bed. All right. Now, I actually didn't check before. Does that go right back to Maxwell? Or do I have to reassign that? Hold tight there. Uh, Maxwell, what are you up to these days? Where are you at? No, your bed is now unassigned. Okay, so you need a new bed. All right. Who else is probably unassigned around here? Uh, go away, Maxwell. This is... Oh, hang on. This is who exactly? That's Chris. Okay, are any of these unassigned? That's what we're looking for. Yeah, basic bed there is unassigned. That means somebody around here doesn't have a bed. Let me see if I can pin down who that is. Looks like Anna cannot find a bed. Excellent. Anna, come here. Uh, too much information up here. Okay, which one did I just say was not? That's Alia's. It's this one down here. Okay, Anna needs this bedroom. Anna, is that you right there? Yeah, it is. Okay, fantastic. Why don't you have... Why don't you have this bed. There's a whole bunch of level ups I'm missing around here too. M of Todd, of course, blessed above all others. Let's put a little bit of something into everything because you kind of do everything around here. Um, you know what? Just start everything moving up. Anything that's a one, let's make it a two. How about that? Now, Alia, you've got your first level up. Okay, so I've got you doing, remind me what exactly, maintenance, recharger, and receptionist. Okay. Maintenance, I'm going to give you one in planning, but I'd also like to make sure the reception desk is always staffed, and that is what exactly? That is bluffing and social. Okay, so why don't you, Alia, why don't you have, what was I going to give you here? Have one in social and one in planning. A little bit better at maintenance, a little bit better in the lobby. I was going to put some outside objects down, but none of them grant any prestige, although... I do love the fact of putting some flags up. We'll certainly do that, but no real great benefit to doing it. And everything is broken down again. I, mean, I wouldn't mind a bit of a, a fix with the durability of objects. They do seem to break down alarmingly frequently. Like, toilets just don't break down that much, no matter how many people are using them. It shouldn't be, you know, every other day the toilet is broken. I get there's like, you know, nine people using it. But that's a little extreme. Okay, I'm going to take the money we have. I say that. Are there any... Hold tight. Hold tight, hijack. Are there any rooms that we haven't built yet? Specifically therapy rooms. Uh, meditation, spirit, and energy spa slash electroshock therapy. No. But I could put another bed in here. That's not a bad idea. Again, I believe we can fit three of them in here. So let's get another one to go right over here. Yeah, a little bit more room. Let's keep the upgrades going here. Who does this belong to? This is Chris's. I'm doing that mostly so I remember to reassign Chris to this. Let's delete this and then put in a real bed like that. And then let's get you something else. Your room is a little bit bare. Let's see if we can get something else for you there. Actually, you know what? You don't have the storage cabinet 
So let's get you that, the storage locker. You can have that right there. Now, Chris, I need to find you, man, because I need to assign your bed. Right, the leader's sanctum. That is something we have not even started yet. I feel that should be off here somewhere, somewhere nice and private for Todd. Although over here would make a great deal of sense too. What time is it? That's kind of coming up to the end of the day. Not going to get that much more money coming in. We'll see what we're like when we get to Todd's sermon. And we finished that research so we could recruit another fraction of Todd. How about, I'd love to see another room. And we could get maggot rejuvenation therapy. Nothing says Todd's love like a huge bath of maggots. We could do that. Covert ops. Hmm. Maybe. No, I'd rather go maggot rejuvenation. Uh, what do you... Oh, follower cap you need me to bump up. And influence cap. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yes, sermon was completed. Yep, I'm going back to research, though. All right, well, let's get that influence cap, then. We may as well. We need it anyway. We need kind of need everything anyway. All right, some of you are going to bed. Somebody should be staying up all night doing all the maintenance. And I need some more money, largely. All right, I'm going to start to get, hopefully, I don't know how big this needs to be, the leader's sanctum up and running here. That will delete those walls, but that's fine. I can put them back. Walls can exist. Uh, get me back to metal walls, please. We'll put those right back up. Todd won't even notice. Okay, metal wall. Well, actually, right there and right there. And then what says secret sanctum? I think red. Red says secret sanctum. Now, I bet I don't have half the money that I need to do all of this nonsense. But if I did, what do we think we'd want to be doing in here. Uh, each individual thing is not crazy expensive. All right, let's get the desk. Let's start with that. Todd can sit right there. Yeah, right as you enter the room, if you get to enter this room, because this is Todd's private sanctum, uh, you will be greeted immediately by Todd. And in a little bit, I can put up a shelf or a table. All right, a little bit later in the day, we can get the shelf up here too. All right, that's about all I'm gonna be able to do for Todd right now. What do you do with that information, Todd? Todd, come here. Can I, like, make you go over here and do things? No divine inspiration set. Okay, well, let's set one of those. What do we do here? Solace of Shadow and Dark unlocks the darkness theme. Starts you on the path of darkness. Well, Todd is both dark and light. Blessed be the coming and the going of him. Yeah, let's go ahead and investigate that. It's not going to even take that long. Apparently, that's the only divine inspiration that's available right now in early access. So Todd may as well get going on it. Yeah, there he is, hunkering down, being divinely inspired behind his desk, figuring out, I, I guess, how darkness works. That is probably an excellent place to call it. On Honey, I joined a cult for today. Of course, the Church of Todd the Spicy will be back next time. Do not be lured into the front, the scam. That is Big Flower and the cake is only the light, the wisdom, the love, the truth, the hope, and the tax-exempt status of Todd the Spicy can redeem us all. Guys, do please let me know in the comments what you're thinking of Honey, I Joined a Cult and how you plan to be more Todd in your day-to-day -day life. And if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to go embrace my fate. I'm going to go give fate a big old hug. Just walk up and tongue kiss fate. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Citizens drop go. Everything is under control. This is, this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program. Bugs are inherently stupid and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish?